It's the iconic fashion figure and I'm back with yet another style video. So today is going to be a video based off of a trade show I'm going to. So as soon as I'm done recording this intro, I'm getting ready to go to a trade show. It's basically all shoes. I believe there's some handbags and like jewelry. So basically an accessory shoe show here in Fort Lauderdale, Florida. And it's all vendors that sell shoes wholesale. Now y'all seen my usual background, it's all shoes. I have a business idea that I'm getting ready to endure that's dealing with shoes. So I'm getting ready to go to this shoe show, check out some of the different brand shoes that are there, get a feel for the trends that are coming out this year. And I'm gonna let you guys see the footage. That way, if you are interested in opening a store, opening a boutique, or you sell online, you already have a boutique, I'll be able to show you some of the different shoe brands if they allow me to record there. But I'll try to get as much footage as I can. If not, I'll take a bunch of notes and when I get back home, I'll tell you guys all about it. As much information as I can give you. I'll give you information on the brands. Any information you need to know, just comment below. If I know it, I'll definitely answer those questions. But let's go ahead and get ready to go to the show because I'm already running behind. So getting ready to head out the door to go to this trade show and let's see what it's all about. So just a little bit of a detour. It might be loud out here because I'm on a main street and the cars are driving by. But I want to go drop off packages at the post office just in the drop box in the lobby. And of course this post office I just went to, their lobby isn't 24. It's the first post of post office I've ever been to where it's not 24 so now I'm just waiting for this other place to open that I can drop packages off it's just one of those shipping places so I just need to drop packages off and then we'll be at the show so I'm here now trying to figure out where the entrance is because this place is so confusing but I think I'm here and I'm gonna go in now and then I'm gonna try to record I just checked in sorry I came outside to record this because it's so quiet in there and out here is super loud but I just checked in um, getting ready to walk the floor they gave me this bag that I get to keep and there's some pamphlets in there but I'm gonna walk the floor first try to record as much as I can and then I'll do meetings it's extremely loud out here so I don't know if y'all gonna be able to hear me but I didn't get to record inside and I only stayed for about an hour because this show was dead. There really wasn't much there. That's why I couldn't even sneak and record. There was nobody in there. The stuff wasn't that great. I got a few good vendors, but not much. I'll do a recap once I get home so y'all can hear me. back home from the show the shoe show it was a trade show that I went to today um I don't know why I still have my glasses on but I do probably because it's still nice outside so I'm going back out there but I didn't stay long and I didn't get to record footage I don't know if you guys will be able to hear the other clip when I was recording while I was there because I would have to step outside to record but I couldn't record in the show I was gonna try to sneak and record anyway but the show was so dead that all eyes were on me. And then they give you these tags. Let me see if I can cover up my address because they put the address on here for some reason. But like they give you these tags and it says buyer at the bottom in purple. Now anybody that is an exhibitor, it says exhibitor instead of buyer. So people see these purple tags and they're all over me. And then a lot of the people that are at the show aren't from this area a lot of them were from like latin america so once they seen a local buyer they really got excited and it was like they were trying to attack me but i'll tell you guys more about the show and some information that i do have because i did get something out of it but i definitely don't need to go back to the next two days because it is a three-day show so they did it sunday monday and tuesday i went today and was literally in there probably like an hour and that was all I needed. I didn't need more than that. But at the show, they gave me this bag. There's a bunch of other stuff in there. 
Wait, let me start from beginning those. In order to qualify to go into the show, you have to be a registered business. So your business has to be registered with your state. You have to have a business license. Um, they did allow to just show a business card, but I gave him my business card and my business license. I don't know if I could have just done it with the business card only. I should have tried that because maybe if you just want to walk the show, you can easily create a business card and then go. I'm not sure. And the guy didn't talk much. It was kind of strange how at the front desk, they weren't very friendly there. But he just took the paperwork and then um, signed me in and then asked me if I wanted a bag. And that pretty much was it. So I don't know if you guys will be able to get away with it. But registering a business is really easy and it's fairly cheap. Each state is different. So I can't tell you exactly how much it would be in your state. But if you want a video on like those beginner stages of starting a business, I can do that for you as well. Just go in depth of how I register businesses because trust me, I've done it in the state of California, I've done it in the state of New York, and now the state of Florida. I've done it plenty of times and I promise you it's easy. It's just determining. I think the hardest part of it is deciding your name of your business, what you want to name it. And then you just register it, you pay the fee, which is pretty small. You have to decide what type of business is going to be LLC, Corp, but I won't go into depth and all into that stuff in this video. I could do another video on that. But it, you register in advance on their website and then you go in and check in because I already have you on the list. So when you get there, because I know a lot of you probably haven't been to trade shows yet. If you have, you already understand. But if you haven't been to a trade show yet, when you first get there, you have to go to the registration booth where you'll get this tag. And you're just basically checking in. So that's when they gave me this gold bag and they gave me magazine and then the pamphlet to tell you about the show. So they gave me this footwear news magazine. I haven't looked through it yet. But I will. But that's just a magazine just telling you what's going on in the industry. It has some information about some other shows on the back. But that's one of the things they gave me. Then you get the pamphlet of the show. And inside the pamphlet it has, this is like an extra because there were some clothing vendors there. Which is supposed to be all about shoes and accessories. But there was some clothes in there so that's what that part is. And then inside, it tells you who's all there. It has the map of the whole layout. On their website, it tells me that there was two floors. There was supposed to be like an upstairs, but it was only one. There was not two floors. And then in the back of the book, which is probably the best thing out of the entire show, was all the vendors that were there, it has all their contact information in there. So I got to, I, I got to speak to a lot of the people there, especially since there weren't many people there. But the one brand that I really wanted to speak to and was the main reason I was there, both of their sales reps were meeting with other people. And the whole hour and a half that I was there, I kept walking by trying to wait to speak with them. And they were still in those same two meetings. So after a while, I just got tired of being there, waiting around for them to finish up those two appointments. And I just left because I noticed their contact information in the back. So I'm like, you know, what? I'll just contact them later and set something up. But if anyone's looking to start up a boutique or you already have a boutique and you want to add shoes or are looking for new brands, I have the contact information here for you guys. So that's where you get that. So once you get checked in, you get your badge, you just walk the show. So what I like to do, any trade show I go to, I'll walk the entire floor just to see what's there, figure out their layout, especially since that was my first time being at this specific trade show. So I want to see what their layout is and the whole setup there. So once I do that, that's when I start pinpointing who exactly I want to actually go view their product and really get to talk to them. Now, if you guys want more information on like really getting to understand what to do at trade shows i can do a separate video talking about you know like how to prepare for a trade show what to expect at a trade show and like my tips and tricks for when you're going to a trade so i can do that in a separate video so that this one's not too long but this one once i walked around 
I decided who I wanted to go see. Everyone was super friendly because, of course, they seen this one purple tag walking around because there really was no one else in there. And everyone's trying to grab me to their booth. There was, like, this one guy that was selling the Javiana flip-flops, which, if you buy, find the right buyer, he can sell them. But that's not what my brand is about. That's not what I'm looking for. But he had no one at his booth, so he was dying for me to come there. He's trying so hard to sell me on these Javianas. And I'm like, I don't need flip-flops. I don't sell flip-flops, but whatever. So, like, that's how slow this show was, which was actually sad. But there were some decent ones there. So, like, I have another bag inside of that bag. Basically, all I have is catalogs and business cards. So I have a few different catalogs that I'm going to go through a product because there were some good vendors there and I saw some good product. The one thing I will say, I guess because it's here in South Florida, a lot of the product was the same. There was a lot of sandals, a lot of flip flops. Um, I did find some cute sandals, but that was pretty much that. And then there was this one brand that I saw. This one vendor that had multiple brands actually that was based out of Brazil, they had really cute shoes because they were like designer inspired. Um, higher price point though. And basically all I really have in here is catalog. So I'll go through some of this stuff. I can link it down below, whatever you guys want. If you want that information, I can so give it to you. Since I didn't get to get footage at the show, I'm gonna flip through some of these catalogs so you can see the type of product that's in there. This one, I don't really care for. It's a lot of older women stuff. Stuff you would see like at Macy's. Actually, I think Macy's does sell these brands. When I was in their booth, they actually had the biggest booth there. Um, there, I saw a couple cute sandals, which the guy told me all of them would be in the books. I wanted to point out the cute ones that I saw. But I don't see them on there. I will say that this sandal is probably like the best that I see in here. And that's just basic but i don't really see much in here it's a lot of like older woman stuff i won't flip through every page because we'll sit here all day doing this this is like the type of stuff i kept seeing the entire show from all the brands like this is the kind of product they had this is not the stuff that i can sell so this was no good for me but i'm not gonna go through all these pages it's a bunch of shoes like that in here and then there's some kid stuff in the back i believe yep kid shoes but I'll show you the other catalogs I have. catalog here, there's a bunch of slides and flip-flops. Um, pretty cheap shoes. The lady there, the sales rep that I was talking to, super nice and very sweet. I'm not even going to flip through it because it's pretty much all the same shoes. And then kids in the back. The stuff that I've seen there was a lot cuter than what I see in this catalog. They actually had some cute sandals there. But I'm not finding them in this catalog. Okay, this catalog has pricing on it so you guys can see. Um, the shoes were okay with this vendor. A little cheap looking though, so not really what I want. And the guy was actually really nice though. He kept trying to get me to buy this shoe right here. Actually, he told me I think this color. And I was like, oh, the black looks okay, but it's still cheap. I would just be buying just to buy to support him. But I don't really need this stuff. This sandal is actually cute though. And that's a decent price. But those are his shoes. As you go to the front of the catalog. I start on the back because they look better from the back. But once you start getting to the front, it starts looking horrible. Like they have slippers and water shoes. There goes the slippers. And these are the kids shoes. And then a bunch of flip-flops. Like, this is the type of stuff I was seeing at this show, which is not what I want. So that's why I say that the show wasn't really good. It's just not what I was looking for. I can't sell this stuff. I mean, if you want to sell sandals, you can find decent sandals. But the only way I'm buying sandals is if it's a good price. See, there's all the water shoes up here. <laughs> oh, here's more of them. But that's that one. What I did notice about this show, there was a lot of older people there, which is, I guess, normal because there's a lot of older people that own businesses and they're well established. But it was a lot of older people there. And then once I started seeing the product, a lot of the product did look older, too. 
So it was really hard to find like that junior brand, except for the one that I specifically went there for. That was the one. And there was a little bit sprinkled here and there. They were like a lot of trade shows I go to. There's a lot of food and things that you could buy. Some of them have bars. I've been to some where you can get alcoholic beverages. This one, they had one small vendor where you could buy food. Since it was in the convention center, you can go out in the hallways and there was a lot of concession stands. This one, they did have like bagels and coffee available, but by the time I got to it, most of it was picked over. I wasn't touching that. And I don't drink coffee. So it was nothing really there and a lot of trade shows I go to too like some of the bigger trade shows they'll do seminars there's a lot of different events going on so you don't go there and just speak with sales reps there's actually a lot going on and you're it's more of a networking event and not just go in and buy whereas this trade show literally every person I talk to they're like oh we have this in stock you can place the order right now and we'll ship it out to you. So this was a trade show where you literally go in, buy, and leave. It's almost like these were wholesalers, but let's say we took a bunch of retail stores, put them into one spot, like a flea market style. You go in and buy and you leave. That's how this trade show was set up. I think maybe only one vendor that I spoke to didn't actually have the stuff available to ship right now. The rest of them, they're like, this is all the stuff we have in stock right now. We can enter the order right now and it'll ship out to you right away since i'm still planning out this business idea i wasn't ready to buy this was more of networking getting filled deciding what i wanted to do what type of product was out there and then the different price points so i did collect business cards some of them didn't even have business cards to give me because they were expecting people to just come in and buy and that be it so this was definitely a different type of trade show that i was not used to would i go back next year I don't think so. I think I have enough of the information that I needed. There was a couple brands that I was already aware of that I've been in contact with that I would order from. This last one, the one that I went for, was the only one that I needed contact information for because I've tried to get in contact with them multiple times. Been, been having difficult, but now I have a direct person. So that's set there. So I don't think I would go to that trade show again. But of course, if you're starting out new with shoes and you're looking for brands, I would recommend giving it a try. You only need one day, though. So if you're in Florida when they hold the show, from what I'm aware of, I believe they do it twice a year. So you go to if you just so happen to be in Florida at that time, go to the show while you're here. It's not like you have to pay to get in. You just have to register in advance. That's all. But you only really need one day. You don't need all three. One story I do want to tell y'all. There was one brand, because like I said, this was supposed to be shoes and accessories which by the way there wasn't any jewelry at all like they said there would be there was none there were a couple handbag vendors nothing great though except this one vendor i walked by i wasn't even looking for handbags but i walked past it and i saw this handbag that i fell in love with and i walked up to him and i'm like oh my gosh this is adorable i'm like i just want to take a look at it so the lady comes up to me and i'm looking at him just telling her how I just love this handbag. I was like, I don't even sell handbags. I actually sell clothing, but I'm thinking about getting into shoes. So that's why I came to the show. But this handbag just caught my eye from across the room. Like I have to come look at this. So I go look at the handbag and she's like trying to check out my tag. And she's like, um, where are you located? And I'm like, um, I'm based out of Florida. And she's like, oh, well, I can't work with you. We only work international like well excuse me i didn't want to buy the bag anyway i just thought it was cute but whatever that was just a quick story i wanted to tell y'all real quick but that was pretty much that show what i'm thinking of doing because right now i sell clothing wholesale with shoes i don't think i want to sell wholesale yet but you guys can see i'm a shoe addict i don't know why i sell these on So you guys can see that I'm a shoe addict. So, sorry, I have my water. I'm tired. As you guys can see, I'm a shoe addict. I'm thinking of doing retail with shoes, just a, an accessory store. I've been just, I think I want to actually open up a storefront and not just do online. 
I haven't quite decided yet, but that's why I went to the show just to get an idea. And there was one specific brand that I really wanted to go see and talk to. I got to see their product and they had some cute shoes. I wanted to take them all with me. Like, y'all don't understand. But I didn't get to speak with the sales rep. So I'm going to contact them and try to get something set up and then figure out what I want to do as far as the business now I have purchased shoes before and sold them retail and it actually did really well. That's why I want to really grow that business. I did it once as just like a test and it worked out. So that's what I'm thinking about doing. That's all that I can really think of to tell you guys right now as far as that show. I'll definitely provide anyone with the information that I want and I'm not a selfish person. So if you are in the fashion world and you're looking for shoe vendors, I have that information. Or if you want those clothes vendors too that's in there, I can give you that information as well. I walked down the clothing aisle because it was only one small aisle. The stuff didn't look that great. But if you want the information so you can check it out for yourself and maybe your style, I'll give it to you. I do have one catalog with men's shoes. I think it was mostly dress shoes. There were a bunch of other men vendors there, but since I don't do men's, I didn't collect that information. I only collected some from the what they would consider the junior brands and it was more of like the fashion fashion styles because those styles are forever changing but that's pretty much so to it. just wrap this video up real quick if there's any videos you guys want to see as far as sorry stuff falling off my table as far as the business world let me know so whether it's the beginning stages where you're trying to register the business or even before you register just the planning phase and figure out what to do and how to do it how to execute and then going into registering the business buying your products how to find these contacts things like that whatever it is that you guys need to know about the business world let me know i'll definitely record videos for you guys and tell you what it is that i know just know that like even though i've registered businesses three different times I, there's still so much that I need to learn about it, so it's not like I know everything, but I can tell you what I know from my experience.